Right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a really sweet 1913 um, uh, nature book, actually focusing on birds, English birds, um, published in the Bodley Head Natural History Series. This is volume one, um, and it's beautifully illustrated. It's rather curiously illustrated, and it's done in the style of the Japanese artist sort of hokusai, or of Japanese woodcuts. So it's the front people's names in the front, but it's... Um, lavishly illustrated with these charming little vignettes of birds, but all done in the style of Japanese sort of hand-tinted, although they're made to look as though they're hand-tinted, um, little sort of um, woodcuts or um, um, uh, ink drawings. So the whole book is charmingly illustrated with little vignette-sized books of uh, English birds, but done in a rather oriental um, style, all managing to be individual and the rest of it. And it goes through lovely little chapters on blackbirds, missile thrushes, song thrushes. Um, these are rather charming. And uh, there are bigger illustrations at the beginning. Um, uh, robins, uh, sparrows and so on. There's a charming title page. With us, you see this rather Japanese looking image there. But the Bodley Head Natural History um, uh, series by E.D. Cumming, illustrated by J.A. Shepherd. This is volume one, British Birds, Passer. Is, um, uh, genus or whatever, and there it is, 1913. Um, currently, I, I found four copies for sale on the 140 million volume Abe Books book site on the internet. They are priced at, uh, none of them is in great condition, they are priced at 18, 20, 48, and 75 pounds. Okay, this has been a little used, uh, it's slightly sort of fingered and the rest of it, but it's all sound and it's very, very charming. Um, and it's a lovely 1913. There we are. Oh, the robin page. Let's leave, leave you with the robin page, which is so sweet. Look at those lovely robins all clustered around the page, very seasonal. Thanks very much indeed. Lovely book. Bye.